www.newtoboss.com. My name is Ty. The video that we have right now is still a part of the video tutorial series that I'm creating on a new modem that I've got. Again, it's a combo modem rotor. Huawei HG521 Home Gateway Echo Life combo modem rotor that I've got from my buy and DSL provider. Uh, I've had issues with my internet for quite a while and I fixed that and I've learned from them that they are actually using a new modem. So we ordered one from them, and the old modem rotor that I have was a ZT a ZXV10 W300 series. I'm not saying that it's not functional. I'm not saying that it's not okay. It's just that I'm trying to use or test a new modem router from them, from my provider. So if you're with a uh, still using a ZT ZXV10 W300 series uh, device. And you're having troubles with that, trying to configure that, maybe it's kind of new. Just check out the list of videos that we have, it's on our playlist. Do watch them all, probably you would learn something in there. Right, so right now, uh, what I'd like to show you is and how you could create uh, a Wi Fi network, or if you already have an existing Wi Fi network that somebody created, maybe the technician created that for you, and you'd want to wipe that out completely start off with a new one create your own try to rename try to hide I'm going to show that to you on this video tutorial so what you want to do first is open up your browser Firefox whatever browser that you are using so just try to type that in there 192.168.1.1 is the default gateway if you can't access this page and go back to the list of tutorials that we have um, we have a separate tutorial in there that teaches you how you could do physical connection, do check for the gateway, match gateways, check if there's an existing gateway. Just I'm going to create a playlist on this and maybe you could watch everything. Just straight look up on the titles. If it's a helpful video, then try to watch that completely. Uh, username should be admin. Password should be the existing password that you created or if you're in the Philippines and then just trying to oop, try to to log in and make changes it should be buy in DSL B A Y A N D S L try again because I mistyped A D M I N and uh be sure to to be using a username that's admin alright not your user account all right login as admin not as a user now let me type it really slow so I could surely log in there you go it's gonna take it to device info uh, product name device ID WAN LAN WLAN click on WLAN right here that is where you would see your SSID right here uh, authentication mode PSK WPA2 encryption mode uh, AES and uh, let me show that to you. this is going to be your SSID or your Wi-Fi name I'm not showing that to you because that's the one I'm using right now um, this is the Wi-Fi network that you have to search using your Wi-Fi devices if you're trying to use a, a notebook trying to connect to a Wi-Fi this is what you're gonna look up for if you're trying to use an Android an iOS or any device this is what you're gonna look up for to connect to a network SSID is just your Wi-Fi or network name right it could either be broadcasted or hidden right if you're if it's hidden no one can connect unless they know what's the exact SSID that they have to type in um, Sometimes it says other devices look up for hidden devices. Now we're going to make changes on that. Let me show you. Go to uh, advanced right here. And uh, not there. Go to basic in there. And look for something that says uh, here WLAN or wireless local area network. I got mode in there. It says for the mode 802.11bgn. Um it's it's not really uh, a problem if you're going to select the, the combo BGN B is the older um, I could say it's a prototype for the Wi-Fi 
then comes in G and comes in N, which has a higher data throw. Um, but if you're using your modem or your router for a specific device, just a specific one particular device or many devices, but with a particular uh, Wi-Fi range of B, which is too old, G probably, or just specific for an N network, and you can just select that in there. But if you'd want everything to connect, either B, G, or N, then of course just select everything in there. Country, uh, yeah, uh, I'm not pretty sure why there's country here, but just type in the Philippines. Probably it's going to like filter out all the IP addresses, but this is my first time seeing that in there. Channel, auto. Sometimes I use six, sometimes I use eight, but again auto why so it's just going to to match the channels or give out or send out a better channel for every device to connect uh rate just leave that to auto transmit power what you're going to be making changes with is ssid right here you are given uh four see that you are given four um ssids that means that you can use any of those. Um, maybe you'd want to use a different ID today, and tomorrow you'd want to use a different SSID. It's it's all up to you. But right now we're just going to be making changes on SSID one, right? And you probably have a default SSID in there already, like this with SSID two. You already have HG five two one and a score two. HG five two one is actually the modern number of the Huawei modem that we have right now. But again, go back to SSID 1, SSID, S1 I have. Try to make changes on that. Just type in a new ID. And maximum number of accessing devices should be, it says in the 32. But um, maybe you could limit that down to just maybe 5, 10. That's all up to you. SSID broadcast is enabled. There you go. Um, the reason why you'd want to enable the SS, no, not broadcast, sorry, SSID. The reason why you want to enable SSID so that you have uh, Wi Fi. If you want to turn that off, you can just uncheck that in there. Hide broadcast. This is one of the important, but uh, with older devices, sometimes you are actually going to be experiencing errors on this. I have uh, some old phones, some old cell phones that cannot connect on hidden broadcasts. Also, some PCs, when I was still working with uh, D-Link before and uh, Dell, there there are problems with, with connecting with old devices if it's connecting to a hidden network. So, But again, now with the new devices, it's been configured for in advanced, so that's not that's not a problem anymore. So hide broadcast, if you hide that, let's say uncheck that, if you remove the check on that, that means that your SSID, let's say you're using an SSID new to boss. If you type in new to boss for the SSID, then your broadcast uh, would be seen by anyone else, but, but I mean by everybody else. Uh, your neighbors, maybe you're trying to broadcast that to a cafe and you would want everybody to connect. And of course, you don't want to hide the broadcast, but you'd want to let them find your network. But again, if you're trying to create a private network on your own, then just unhide, I mean, just uncheck, I don't know, just check that so you could hide the network. Uh, if it's hidden, they can detect Wi Fi, I would say, in their other network. If they try to connect in there, it's going to ask them to key in the exact. SSID or network or Wi-Fi name that you created. Let's say you created Nudaboss. How would they know that it's Nudaboss? So still they can't connect. All right. So let's go down to something that says security right here. Just don't mind all the others in there. Security WPA2 PSK. That's a pre-shared key. So WEP is oop. It's logging me in because I'm not making changes. Oh, I like this Huawei modem. Oop, please try again. ADMIN. It's logging you out if you're not doing anything. But with the old modem that I have, it's it's not logging me out.
so it's still the security it's timing out okay go back to uh, basic right here go back WLAN and go down to security WEP is basic you can just type in five alphanumeric codes in there WPA2 PSK is a little better you can just type in any combination that you want then after so just click on submit right here or you can change AES or TK IP that's just gonna be alright uh, click on submit so again what you just have to concentrate on this one is basically just adding in an SSID and adding in the password using WPA2 PSK or WEP just click on submit then Try to open up your Android devices, iOS devices, your notebook, and I look up for the network that you created. If it's hidden, search for something that says hidden network or other network. If it's asking you for type the network name, just type in the hidden network name like you, you created, and then authenticate that with WPA2 PSK AES, and then type in your share key. Alright, so again, for some of the video tutorials on a... Uh, Huawei Echo Life Home Gateway HG521 combo modem router. You can just check out the list of the videos that we have. Look that up in there. And please, you have something that it says S U B S C R I B E. Subscribe. Before you do anything else with your modem, try to press on that first. All right, that would really help us a lot in funding up for our videos and funding up for the website. All right, so please do subscribe to our channel and do like our website we're just starting off really with a blog it's been running for like about two months so click some likes in there again my name is ty thanks much for watching the video I'm gonna see you back